It's that time of year again when filmmakers and lovers alike gear up for the much anticipated Trinidad and Tobago Film Festival. The festival, which has grown significantly in popularity over the years, will this year feature over 120 films from the Caribbean and its diaspora, as well as from world cinema. Giants in the industry believe overall now is the time to look forward to film as a sustainable means of diversifying this oil-driven economy. Janine Brown reports. Now in its 12th year, the Trinidad and Tobago Film Festival has proven to be quite the efficient platform, especially for local filmmakers to have their work displayed. The 2017 installment sees gems like author Michael Anthony's well-respected novel Green Days by the River coming to the big screen as directed by Michael Molodar. The film will open the festival on September 19th. You enjoying it? We're in the dreams I've lived in the river. But to make it now on my own. She's some son. The film festival has been well endorsed by the Ministry of Community Development, Culture and the Arts. As Ministry Representative Patricia Henderson Brown says, the festival being held in the month of patriotism is quite fitting. And in the face of a downturn in the energy sector, it's being said expanding the film industry can prove to be a lucrative sector for government to tap into, with actual funding of films being the immediate need. And we're really looking at regional incentives and co-productions that day, largely a large part of which is because as funding has become increasingly difficult for filmmakers throughout the region, Trinidad is no different from anywhere else, uh, we realize that the filmmakers need to get more in inventive and to have a different ideas about how they can get their funding. I know some of them have done a great job already. This year's festival will see special additions to the week-long agenda, such as Patriotism Day, where only Trinidad and Tobago films will be featured. Another interesting component of the lineup is a look at women in cinema, in which speakers from across the region will explore how women and girls are represented in cinema, as well as how filmmakers can address issues such as gender inequality and female empowerment through film. You can visit the festival's website at ttfilmfestival.com for information on listing and tour tickets. Janine Brown, CNews.